Hello everyone and welcome once again to another program of Primetime. I'm your host Beverly and yes, we've had a great vacation but we worked hard before vacation and so the program ran its course in the week or the month that we were away. And so we're really happy to be back in studio today bringing to you um, a super person. Um, he's well known on radio, he's been doing this um, since he called himself a kid. And so stick around and we'll be right back with Primetime. At Najico, the things that matter to you matter to us. Like knowing you're covered when your house gets flooded. Getting your settlements quickly and fairly when a fire hits your home. And making sure your business can keep going, even after an accident happens on site. At Najico, we're about much more than just insurance. We're about the big things and the small things that mean everything. Hey guys, did you know that now with Telcel, if you accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month, you get 15 more? 15 more? Yes, 15 more. However you want. So I can top up $3 now, $10 next week, and so on until I reach or pass $25? That's right. Get 15 more. Wow! I feel like a 15 again. Yeah. Right. Accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month and get 15 more. Telcel, when you Want more? Welcome back and thank you very much for joining us. This is Prime Time, and today we are talking to Kevin Patrona. We all know him as um, Super Kid. And then when he came in the studio today, he corrected me and he said, "No, I'm no longer using the kid." So welcome to Super. He is one of the talented and well-known DJs on Laser 101. Yes. Thank you very much for joining me on the program, Kevin. Thank you very much, Beverly. Mm -hmm. um, I've tried to try my best not to call you. I, yeah, yeah, it's something yeah. kind of strange, <laughs> Beverly. Thing, eh? You know, you know, it's respect. You it's know, giving you some stress, right? <laughs> call me Beverly. Yes, but I'm, you know, I must say that Kevin is also a, a past student. Yes, I am. I mean, we have them. It's like a revolving door here uh -huh. with our past students everybody has done so well and yeah. we bring them in to share and have some yeah. fun on the program and it's funny so, you can take all the credit mo mo most of the students that you've taught have become success stories yes. so take all the credit that there, you thanks 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 <laughs> yeah so um yeah super so i'm going to go straight for the juggle and ask you why okay. you dropped the kid um as you can see i'm no longer a kid anymore mm -hmm. you know, i had to i had to drop it i have i've matured um, a lot in what I've do, done, do on the radio, mm -hmm. in my thinking and everything. So I was like, you know what, uh, it's time to drop the kid. I'm no longer a kid and I don't want to use Superman, so I just decided no, that's to... Su but the Super sounds good. The Super is just fine. Yeah, it yeah. sounds fine. Yeah. <laughs> but could you, could you go back in retrospect and tell us what made you get into radio? Oh, how I got into radio. Now, I remember there was a show back in the days called Teen Times Loud and Loving It. Yes. And um, Michael Granger at the time was looking for a new co-host because um, his old co-host, they were leaving to further the study. So he was like, listen, I need some new, young, dynamic people to work on the show with me. And um, I was attending university at the time and I came home and I heard him talk about it. So I said, you know what, let me try. I called in, I, I you know, auditioned. And he called me like a week after, uh -huh. and he said, you have the job. And I uh -huh. said, how? How did uh -huh. I get the job? Because uh -huh. I remember going to the audition. Right. I saw all the other cool guys, the cool cats uh -huh. and everything. Yeah. I was uh -huh. like, I have you no can't chance. Compete with that. I can't compete with that. <laughs> yeah. And uh -huh. he said, yeah, you got the job. I said, but how? He said, because out of everybody that was there, you were the most um, genuine. You stuck, stayed to yourself. Uh -huh. You were cool. You introduced yourself, and you spoke well. And that is what I'm looking for. And that's, and that's history. Started. Yeah. That's where it started. Right, and then you got on Laser 101. Yeah, it started on Laser 101. I uh, did Loud and Love It for a while, and then I got um, mentored and actually asked by Bulldog, uh, who, oh, did, right. who did the Rude Awakening right, show. Right, that's true. And I don't know what it was, but he saw potential in me, and I'm yeah. glad he did. And mm -hmm. he took me under his wing, and that's how he I showed me the ropes. Showed me the ropes, mm -hmm. and that's where I am now today. Yeah, I know that you went to Holland for your studies. Yes, I <clears throat> attended university, then I went to the U.S. for a while. Okay. And then um, I came back, finished my studies, came back to St. Martin. I was working for a while, did radio. And then I decided um, to go to the Netherlands to um, pursue some more studies. I wanted yeah. to do more communication and marketing and everything. So right. I went to the Netherlands, uh, to Amsterdam. So I stayed there about six years. 
uh, finished oh, my studies long. there, yeah. and then came back. And then when you came home on vacation, you would go on the radio? Oh, uh, yes, yeah. for the summer. So mm -hmm, it, would be, mm -hmm. it would be like super for the summer and, you know, to have some fun because the people miss me, you know. And right, then yeah. um, I also did radio up in the Netherlands as well. I was well. going to ask you, did you dab dabble a little bit in the yeah, Netherlands? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I did, um, I worked at Phonex for a while. I did some internship at Phonex, which is the biggest um, radio station yeah. in the Netherlands. And then I also did a radio show called Jam Rock Radio. Which and that's in English or in Dutch? Uh, English, oh, English. English. And um, Jam Rock is where I really got my big, big break because mm -hmm. I got syndicated. Um, I think it was over 20 other radio stations around the Bringing world. Up. Yeah, in Europe, mm -hmm. um, in the United States, different Caribbean islands. And uh, that opened a lot of doors for me. Traveled to Italy, Dubai, and all wow. over the world. So w was it difficult then to, to just close the door on all of that and come back home? Mm, no, no. A lot of people ask me that, you know, was it difficult to transition, yeah. you know, from yeah. the Netherlands to come back home? And no, because the thing is, I, 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 before I moved to the Netherlands, I had a lot of networks, you know, I met a lot of people and mm -hmm. I kept that relationship open. Good. So when I came back home, it was easy. The transition was mm -hmm. so easy, so much easier for me. And um, Laser always told me, when you come back, your, your, yeah, job, your job is always here. Wow. So it was very easy for me to transition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but how is it in today's world of um, technology? Yeah. Um, everything is downloaded and so on. How, how does a radio, a radio personality and a radio station compete with the social media and what's going on? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's very difficult because now with social media, um, that's mm -hmm. your, your new source. So right. you have to try to... Um, stay on top of that so you guys are exclusive as, as well so that's why we also tap into the social media yeah. we're always on Twitter we're always on um, Facebook and everything so as the news comes out we get it and then we broadcast it on the air because now it's all about it's not about the type of news it's about when you get the news right how soon you can how bring soon it out you, exactly wow exactly mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so but you have to be very careful about that as well we with the fake news exactly yeah you have to be careful with all the fake news there's a lot of stories there's a lot of headlines right. that seem to be real but you have to do your research you have to be on top Check of the game and know what's going on with the world before you even mention anything or say anything mm -hmm. you know so you had laser um and are you doing news also and music, or are you just concentrating on your music? Um, well, now I do the morning show. So actually, I've, I've moved... Oh, yeah, right, you're doing the morning show. Yeah, mm -hmm. so from 6 to 10, and I've actually mo gradually moved away from the music and focusing more on the news and the entertainment, you know? Oh, so, okay, yeah. right, right, right. And so where do you get your entertainment news on... On TMZ and so on, uh, 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 on the radio, uh, 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 Hollywood uh, Reporter. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. I have a couple of different uh, sites that I use. I uh -huh. also have people out there that that work with me that send, send me, stuff in. Send me, send me stuff. So I have a big um, team. I have a network that I, that I work with now. Mm -hmm. So um, they're definitely helping me out. So so I could just focus on doing the show and then they get all the content and everything for me, do all the research, make sure everything is right. You need that. Like I have um, Ray Leslie and Ricardo. I yeah, couldn't yeah, do it yeah. without them. No. No, you can't. You yeah. need your people to work behind the scenes for you to for make sure. sure that you have a top-notch program. Yeah. Okay, we'll take a break and when we come back, I want to ask you about your studies. Okay. Um, how did that um, prepare you for what you're doing now? Was it helpful um, for what we're doing today? Okay. So stay tuned. We'll be back in a moment. This is prime time. People all across St. Martin are switching to a more rewarding experience. The Whip MasterCard Fun Miles Credit Card, better known as My Card. Earn one fun mile for every $2 spent, even abroad and online. This will quickly get you a ton of fun miles to redeem for travel, shopping, food, fuel, and much more. But there's more to My Card worldwide acceptance, an EMV chip for extra security, and 250 free fun miles with first use. Switch to my card today at WIB. A cruise is a great adventure. Not only for passengers, also for us. The Port of St. Martin. Our port always reflected the needs and aspirations of the time. From the first to the 1.75 millionth passenger in 2013. Our cruise story started in 1963 with our first cruise passenger. 
50 great years later, 20 million passengers later, thousands of cruise berths later, we've become the leading port in the Caribbean. 50 fantastic years, like a dream. The dream of Port St. Martin lives on and reinvents itself every day. The best is yet to come. At Travel Planners, we love what we do. Every day we help our clients plan their vacations. From honeymoons to family reunions, trade shows to conventions, school trips to sports tournaments. Our agents at Travel Planners can help you make better, wiser decisions on travel destinations and cruises and find you the lowest fares. Make some memories with help from Travel Planners in Phillipsburg and on the Airport Road, Simpson Bay. Visit our website at Planners SXM and like us on Facebook at St. Martin Travel Planners. We take care of all your travel needs. Welcome back and thank you very much for joining us. This is Prime Time and today we are talking to Kevin Patrona. I know him as Kevin, but everybody else knows him as the super and he is one of the popular DJs on um, Laser One on One. Laser 101, and he also has that morning show. Yes. Um, from, from you said? From, from 6 a.m. to 10 6 to, to 10. Super duper morning show. Oh, super duper morning show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, so tell <laughs> us about it. What, um, what, what's the composition of the show? <clears throat> uh, the composition of the show, it's um, fun, entertainment, and just to get everybody, you know, on board, just to get feedback from the public. Because it's, it's been a while since we've... I mean, we have those type of shows, mm -hmm. but more on a serious level. And I, and I want to keep it serious, but still, I want to think out of the box. So yeah. I decided to... Um, well, actually, they asked me to do the morning show, so... Yeah. Yeah, uh, I said, I'm not really a morning person. I, I'm not gonna tell you, number one, you're gonna be in the <laughs> studio like six, like five thirty. Yeah, I actually <laughs> wake up from four thirty so I could wake up, you know, prepare the show, it's make sure everything is, is ready, right. and then mm -hmm. I go on in, and mm -hmm. from there it's showtime, lights on. Yeah, um, what kind of music do you use? Um, like, do you like, use the hits? Do you do you use calypso? Do you use soothing, calming music? Because remember, it's work we go into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What kind? How, how, was, how was your mix? Um, well, like I mentioned before, um, I'm kind of moved away from the music. Well, I mentioned after. Yeah, I don't yeah. think we talked mm -hmm. about it. I moved away from the music and now focusing more on radio and the entertain, uh, entertainment and the info. So, um, so how do you do that from 6 to 10? Um, it's a lot of talking. It's a lot of talking. So by the end of the, at the, end of the show, I'm yeah. exhausted. I'm sure people calling in? Yeah, yeah. You get a lot of calls. And um, people love when I do the fun stuff. The, yeah. the funny stuff and you whatever. Mean, for example, would you put question? Uh, would you throw a question out and people would call and give their um, actually, yeah, I do have that? a I do have <clears> a segment <throat> called Question of the Day. So every day I would ask a question, something mm -hmm. fun, something interesting, mm -hmm. and um, ask a question of the day, and people would answer it on Facebook. And then later on in the day, I would read out wow, everybody's my, answer. Like that? Yeah. Yeah. So, you see? Yeah. That's different. Long time. You're calling on the phone. Yeah. You, you know, trying to get on to see exactly. what your answer is. Now, oh. everything is in social media. Yeah. So everybody tweets yeah. you this stuff. Yeah, and they, you have to embrace they, it because that's what it is. Yeah. So I ask different questions. Um, but where do you get a, a question per day? Do, is there a particular site you look on? No, I usually just make it up. Make it up. On the spot, you have to kind of keep your, your ears yeah. close to the ground. Close to the ground, and, and it depends. Sometimes <laughs> I, I do random stuff. Sometimes I do stuff that um, is, you know, that focuses on what's going on in the island. Right. At the time when the dump used mm -hmm. to be constantly on fire. Right, that was a hot topic. And, and that was a hot topic, mm -hmm. no pun intended. <laughs> yeah, right. Was, but, oh, right, right, that was but, a hot um, topic. Yeah. At one point, the dump was so high, we said, you know what, let's give it a name. So the question of the day was, what would you name the dump? Oh, like that? Yeah, you know. You remember any of the names you got? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some you can't say. <laughs> um, I can, but mm -hmm. the, the, the people who they named it after probably wouldn't like it. Oh, you mean like that? Yeah, uh -huh. Some, it was named after a couple of politicians. Oh, okay. so. I, I, I want the program to keep going, so we're going to keep that off the air. Yeah. <laughs> now, we were talking about um, going away to study for mm -hmm. this type of, of profession. Yeah. Um, how did it prepare you? Um, it prepared me a lot. It, it, it taught me more on the, on the marketing side. You know, because mm -hmm. when when Bulldog taught me, it was more of the rules of radio. You know, no dead air, how to speak, um, mm -hmm. how to deal with your callers and, and everything. Mm -hmm. But when I went to school and further my mm -hmm. studies, it was more focused on 
the different types of communication, old media, new media, and ways to market and how to use, um, you know, visuals to, to, right. to bring in your audience, even though it's radio, but you right. still need to use visuals yeah. as, as your marketing to bring in your, your, your audience as well. Or how to create pictures by using your words in, in audiences' mm -hmm. minds, you know? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. What would you say to young people out there today with taking, um, you know, studies like telecommunication? Yeah. Um, it's, 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 it's constantly updating. So it's some, it's a field that is definitely, um, necessary that, that you shouldn't have to be worried without being outdated because every day there's something new, yeah. there's new technology, new type of media that's coming out. So, um, there's a lot of people right now making YouTube videos and making right. money and becoming stars right. on YouTube. You don't YouTube, have to be, right. a, yeah, you don't have to be, <laughs> in, in the movies and, no, 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 no. I see you on YouTube as well. Probably you yes. will mm. be making some money. Off I hope so well. one day. I'll keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So there's always right. different ways to, to, to mm -hmm. use media and technology to um, get information out wow. there, you know. That's something. Yeah. And you have to be, because for example, our program, we had no choice. We had to get on Facebook right. and YouTube. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we had to keep up with the times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what, tell me about um, your daily schedules. Um, you do some emceeing. What else? When you're out of the studio um, on the radio, yeah, what else from, you do? So, so when, I, when I finish at 10 o'clock, um, people think, okay, he's done in the air. That's it, yeah, that's the it for the him, rest of the day. No. I wish. Um, mm -hmm. I usually do production because after that I do production at the end of the, at the show. Mm -hmm. I put together a reel of, 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 of recaps. So mm -hmm. fun stuff that happened on the show. It yeah. plays throughout the day on laser. So, so Yeah, so, so this is what you missed on the that? show. Yeah. Put all of that together. So I yeah. have four hours of audio to go through and chop up and, and put together. So I do that. I do programming. I, I I schedule commercials and. I'm not gonna ask. Are people doing a lot of commercials still? Oh yeah, a yeah, lot, yeah. a lot, a lot. And and so the, you doing a lot of voiceovers with that? A lot of voiceover. And the way that they're doing commercials have also has also evolved as well. It's it's no longer sometimes the old school way of this is where I am. This is what we offer and thing. You have no? to find innovative ways now to to, to catch your people because mm -hmm. right now everything is online. So if you want foot, yeah. that foot traffic, you need to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Create something that's interesting for people now to still come to your store. Yeah. yeah. It's a big challenge. It's a big challenge, but it's fun. It's yeah. fun doing mm -hmm. it, you know. Because you see all the stores, company, all the big department yes. stores in the US yes. complaining, you know, yeah. that um, sales are so sales, down because mm -hmm. everybody is shopping, shopping online. online. Yeah. But you can still give me my store. I need to go in the store and touch <laughs> and feel and so on. Exactly. Yes. Okay, we'll take a break and when we come back, we'll talk a little bit about. Um, yeah, what you do, we talk a little bit about the hosting okay. and events that you do and so on. Stick around, we'll be right back. As we mentioned, you can view us on Facebook and on YouTube and don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back in a moment. Stick around. The Daily Herald is my first source for up-to-date information and news. Putting together this program of prime time requires research and knowledge of current events. For local news, regional and international news, do read the Daily Herald. Hey guys, did you know that now with Telcel, if you accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month, you get 15 more? 15 more? Yes, 15 more, however you want. So I can top up $3 now, $10 next week, and so on until I reach or pass $25? That's right, get 15 more. Wow, I feel like a 15 again. Yeah. Right. Accumulate $25 or more within one calendar month and get 15 more. Tell Cell when you want more. GEBE has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you, whether in person, over the phone, or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective, and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, -E, powering a brighter future. Our friend Megawati is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your air code temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. Save some green with NVGEBE. 
Yeah, we talked about things that you do out of, you know, in the studio and so mm. on. But you're not telling us what you do out of the studio. <laughs> I know you do quite a bit of hosting. Tell yeah. me about that. And how busy is that? I have a pretty boring life, Beverly. No, I'm just joking. Yeah, um, yeah I, I've, out of the studio, usually on the weekends, I, I host different events. Um, it's either a club event or a social event or a business event. So I do that on the side. I also do graphic design as well, which a lot of people um, don't, don't know. know. Yeah. Uh -huh. So a lot of the stuff that you do see in the newspapers, I actually created and designed. So I, I do that as well. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. What can we say to our young people out there who are thinking about, yeah, because a lot of them are going in the last class yeah. now, about going away, the importance mm -hmm. of furthering your studies? Because you know we have a, we have a, 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 I hate to say a problem, we are challenged mm -hmm. with things that you do in a positive way. Yeah. How could we, you know, you as a young person in the community, what advice could we give out there to our youths? Um, always, always, um, you know, strive for the best. And if you have the opportunity to go away, not even if it's not to study, leave. You have you have to leave the island in order to broaden. see what's out there. Mm -hmm. You know, um, broaden your, your your mind and see what what else is out there to, I guess, what's to offer or whatever. Yeah. But then always come back home. Bring it back home. Whatever you learn, bring that knowledge back home and apply it here. Because there's there's a lot of old school prehistoric way of thinking here on the island, which I definitely think needs to change, mm -hmm. and it could only change with us, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, would you say that many f um, in of your of your generation don't seem to care? You were talking about an incident with with, with some boys. Yeah, they did yeah, something yeah. that wasn't very positive. Yeah, they don't they don't seem to care because I think they do not get the attention. That, that they crave, you know. So now with the whole social media, mm -hmm. the attention that you do get is the likes. So they, so, right. they, so they do it for the likes, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. they, they, to them, that's, the atten that's attention. Instead of actually having a mentor or somebody guide them around, somebody show them around, uh, or they, they picking up a hobby and, you know, playing an instrument and, and getting mm -hmm. that respect as well, yeah, yeah. you know. So the, they, they rather pick up something negative, put it on Facebook, and then get the likes, and to them they feel... That, that's, that's all I need. Mm -hmm. And then there was an incident that happened uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I, and I spoke to one of the guys that was involved in it, and I said, likes don't mean anything in life. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. likes, likes don't equal life. Mm -hmm. It's respect. Right. Once, you, once you do things and you gain respect, right. you could walk around this island with your head held up high, mm -hmm. and nobody can tell you anything. Respect right. and education are two things that people cannot take away from you. Right. Yeah. But you have to earn all of that. Mm -hmm. Are you a lot on social media, Facebook and so? Um, I'm yeah. more of a social media reader. I don't, I don't oh, post. Don't be like me. <laughs> I don't post I'm the world's much. best reader. <laughs> <laughs> I don't post much. But when I do post, I, 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 it, it's always something that gets everybody thinking, that gets everybody reacting. So no mm -hmm. personal stuff about if you have a girlfriend or if you're dating and you and your girlfriend went this place or that place. Oh, like no, that. no, 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 no. That, mm -hmm. That's definitely, to me, that, that's private. Whatever me and my, my girlfriend do or whoever I'm in a relationship, whatever we do. I know you're in a relationship. But anyway, <laughs> I, I want to say, but, uh, go ahead. She said so, to tell you how Yeah, but don't, don't kind of, kind of doubt me here. Uh, hide behind it for me. Uh, but uh, whatever <laughs> we do, you know, that, that, that's our business because, um, and, and, and I see it a lot happening with the, with the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they tend to, when the good times happen, you don't see much about it. But when the bad times happen, Ooh. they want to expose and put everybody. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you don't do those things. Mm -hmm. Because even if you decide to delete it, it's still there. It's still around. And yeah. it can come back in your, in, in and your future you. and haunt yeah. you. Mm -hmm. You know, and haunt you. So because you now, if you go to apply for a job, oh, you're yeah. checking to see that, that's what your, you have that's, out there. That's, that's your resume, your new now. resume now. <laughs> so you have to be careful on, on how you portray yourself online, whether it's the posting or the pictures. We like to see kids doing all these middle fingers in the air mm -hmm. and yeah. tongue sticking out. And mm -hmm. you have oh, to be God. careful uh -huh. how you portray yourself. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's very dangerous out there. Mm -hmm. Um. What can you see yourself doing, let's say, for example, in the next five years? Uh, next yeah, five years? So far, so far ahead? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, I have a, um, what do you call those? Um, is it a, not a mood, but a vision board. Uh -huh. I have a vision board that I write down things that I would like to see myself doing. Where would I like to be in the next uh, year, mm -hmm. two years, and then I have a five-year plan. Right. So I always write down stuff. Um, within the next five years, I do still see myself on the radio. 
um, with a bigger production. I have a whole production team and everything behind me. I do have one now. It's it's pretty small, yeah. but I hope to expand that. Right. And um, yeah, to keep on doing what just basically what so, I'm doing, entertaining. So, and so, do you think that that radio is still alive and well? Yes, <laughs> but uh, it's it's definitely going to take a, a different a different turn. Um, it's still going to be that that you know airwaves type of thing, but mm -hmm. it's going to be more visual. So yeah. prepare to see me, I guess, live streaming on YouTube or Facebook yeah. or whatever social medium that they have back then. Uh, another big thing that's, um, that a lot of people are getting into are podcasts, which is something that I also want to do as well. So it's basically you, you record a radio show and people download it. And mm -hmm. the, the difference between a podcast and radio on a podcast, you could be a little bit more... A little more extra. A little bit more edgy. Yeah, yeah a, little a little bit edgy. more edgy. So right, you could, let's you say, could edgy. say more of what you want to say. <laughs> yeah. And you know, and put that out there, you know. So, so that's that's something I also want to look into. Yeah, well, that sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. And so you see any youngsters who are interested in radio like like how you remember you started from pretty young? Yeah. You seen anybody on the horizon looking um, checking, coming into the studio, asking questions? Um there's, there's a few, there's a few. There's actually a guy I have on the on the air with me right now. Mm -hmm. Um a young of, fellow? A young fellow. Most mm -hmm. of most of the people know him. He goes by the name of Rummer. He's a local artist here on the island. Okay. And he was interested. And I told him, you know what, come in. Just right. come in. He wanted to, to, to be there for the summer and see mm -hmm. how everything goes. But I've seen how he've how he's grown and become attached to it. And you could see he's learning right. and, and he's he's getting now into the groove. Right. So even though he's only there for the summer, I'm kinda right. thinking yeah. he might this might be the first time yeah. everybody's yeah. hearing. Right. He could become something permanent on the show, but yeah. oh, well. you never know. Let's see. Let's yeah. see how let's see how it goes. <laughs> okay, I'm um, super. Thanks so much <laughs> Thank for joining us on the Beverly. program and wish you all success yeah. um in your career and the other things you know what I'm talking about. Mm. But yeah. <laughs> keep good, keep good. Nice seeing you. This has been prime time. Thank you so much for joining us and we appreciate um, you tuning in on Facebook and YouTube and on cable TV for our program each and every week. I'll see you next week and may God bless you.